Much of life's diversity remains undiscovered, and much of it lies deep in our oceans. Recently, marine biologist Rich Moy made history as part of a deep water exploration in the Philippines, the largest expedition launched by the Academy since 1905. The truth of the matter is that the deep water around the Philippines is very poorly known. We have almost, almost no records, certainly recently, of the organisms that live in deeper water uh, around the Philippines, that is, in water below about 300 meters in depth. To sample that biodiversity, the Academy hired the research vessel MVDA BFAR to trawl and trap the deepwater denizens of the Philippines' Verde Island Passage, the most diverse marine ecosystem in the world. After eight days on board, Rich and his colleagues understand more about our planet's diversity. Every trawl was almost like a smorgasbord of stuff. You would actually drop a trawl, you would tow the net for a certain distance, usually a couple of miles at the most, and then empty those trawl results on deck. And for Rich, it's like a feeding frenzy. He and his colleagues pick through the muck in order to find some truly incredible organisms from deep water. And the echinoderms in which I'm interested in, we discovered not just ten new species of starfish and probably a couple of new species of sea urchin. These finds hint that Rich and his colleagues only scratched the surface. The scientists selected relatively small sampling devices. They're really taking a very small subset of what's on the sea bottom. We were very sensitive to making sure that our impact on the deep sea by making these samplings is minimized. And of course we don't want to hurt uh, coral communities. Many of the specimens are entirely new to science. Rich's favorite find? A very small starfish. The most exciting thing that I saw were these little wood stars that are uh, exclusively found on sunken wood. You don't find them anywhere else. Not just one, but two new species of those found only living only on actual wood from trees. Neither of those have ever been seen before. They're brand new species and also the unexpected and slightly creepy. In the traps, we would get these voracious and very large bathynomas. They call them cockroaches, but they're actually giant isopods relative of uh, the pill bugs that you might find in your garden. Uh, these things were huge. They're, you know, 10, 10 inches to like over a foot in some cases uh, long, and these things would wander into the traps and chew up the bait. Sometimes they would also chew up other specimens. Results from field work like the Hearst Philippine Biodiversity Expedition play a critical role in developing our understanding of which environments have the highest biodiversity, which ones we should target for protection, and how we can best inform policy. I mean, the Philippines is right in the center of the center of some of the most biodiverse areas in the world's oceans. And knowing something about that biodiversity will greatly inform our ability to preserve those regions. Sadly, the negative impacts of human activity also showed up thousands of meters beneath the surface. Every single trawl had plastic in it, even the record-setting trawl at 2,350 meters. And in some of the trawls, the amount of plastic and garbage exceeded the organisms that we were collecting in that same haul. We can also make recommendations about limiting the outfall of plastic. We can say things about what our own experience here in North America is with limiting use of plastic bags in supermarkets, for example. And some coastal towns are actually saying, we will not use plastic bags. And it does make a difference. From my point of view, the goal of the expedition was to uncover as much as we could specimens that inform our understanding of the biodiversity of the deep sea and the shallow water environments in the Philippines. But I also think it makes people realize that we are part of a huge system here on the planet. It's not just the United States and the Philippines, but in fact there's a biodiversity web going on. And so I think the work that we do in places like the Philippines underscores the fact that we are in fact all part of a system that we should be working together to help save.